Jai Gurudev, Namaste. Anand it is truly an honor to have this opportunity to speak with you. Your journey from a successful career in software engineering in San Francisco and New York City to becoming a reward out of living teacher is incredibly inspiring. Thank you for taking the time to share your insights with us. Namaste, Jai Gurudev. The honor is mine. It is a pleasure to share my experiences and the wisdom I have gained along this beautiful path with you. Anandji, could you please share what inspired you to transition from a lucrative career in software engineering to becoming a full-time art of living teacher? Certainly, while working as a software engineer in San Francisco and New York, I found success and fulfillment in my professional life. However, despite the achievements and the fast-paced life, I felt a deep void within. I attended an art of living course during a particularly stressful time, and the profound peace and clarity I experienced were transformative. The teachings of His Holiness Gurudev Shri Sri Ravi Shankar Ji resonated deeply with me and I realized that the true fulfillment lay in inner peace and service. This realization led me to become a full-time teacher, dedicating my life to sharing the benefits of these practices with others. That's truly inspiring, Anandji. How has your experience in the software industry influenced your approach to teaching Art of Living courses, particularly the DSM? My background in software engineering has greatly influenced my teaching methodology in the tech world, precision, logic, and problem solving are key. I bring these elements into my teaching by creating structured logical approaches to explain spiritual concepts, making them accessible to individuals from various backgrounds. The DS and Devi Samaj Kandirman course, which stands for creating a divine society or dynamism for self and nation, benefits immensely from this approach. It requires participants to break through their mental barriers and having a structured analytical approach helps them see their challenges clearly and overcome them effectively. It's remarkable how you integrate your technical background into spiritual teachings. Your DSN courses are known to have attracted top scientists from NASA, World Bank officers and professors from elite universities like Harvard, Stanford and MIT. How do you tailor your teachings to meet the needs of such a diverse and high-profile audience? Teaching high-profile individuals such as NASA scientists, World Bank officers and professors from esteemed institutions requires a blend of humility, respect and a deep understanding of their mindset. These individuals are accustomed to rigorous analysis and skepticism. I ensure that my teachings are presented in a logical, scientific manner, supported by the practical benefits of the practices. Moreover, I emphasize experiential learning through meditation and breath work, allowing them to directly experience the impact rather than merely understanding it intellectually. This approach helps bridge the gap between their analytical minds and the experiential nature of spiritual practices. That's a very thoughtful approach, Anandji. Could you share a memorable experience from one of your DSN courses? Certainly, one of the most memorable experiences was conducting a DSN course for a group of high-ranking investment bankers in New York City. These individuals are typically under immense pressure and lead highly stressful lives. Initially, they were skeptical and reluctant to engage fully. However, as the course progressed, I witnessed a remarkable transformation. By the end of the course, many of them expressed a profound and newfound sense of calm and clarity and some even remarked that it was one of the most profound experiences of their lives seeing such transformations especially in individuals who are usually so resistant to change is deeply fulfilling that must have been incredibly rewarding how do you address the common challenges your participants face such as stress and the inability to balance their personal and professional lives stress and imbalance are common issues faced by many especially those in high pressure environments in my courses I emphasize the importance of daily practices such as meditation, breath work, and mindful living. I also encourage participants to take regular breaks and incorporate simple breathing techniques into their daily routines. Additionally, I share insights on prioritizing tasks, setting boundaries, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. The key is to help them realize that true success and happiness come from within and then that managing stress is about cultivating inner resilience and clarity. Your emphasis on inner resilience is very insightful. What role do you believe meditation plays in achieving this inner resilience? Meditation is fundamental in achieving inner resilience. It helps calm the mind, reduce stress and enhance clarity and focus. By regularly practicing meditation, individuals can cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability which helps them navigate challenges with greater ease and composure. Moreover, meditation connects us with our true selves, fostering a deeper understanding and acceptance of life's ups and downs. It is like charging our internal battery, enabling us to face life's challenges with a fresh perspective and renewed energy. That's beautifully said Anandji. Finally, what advice would you give to someone looking to transition from a conventional career to a path of spiritual teaching and service? 
transitioning to a path of spiritual teaching and service requires a deep sense of commitment and calling from within, my advice would be to first integrate spiritual practices into your own life and experience their benefits. Once you have a solid foundation, seek guidance from a mentor or a teacher. It is essential to approach this path with humility, dedication and a genuine desire to serve. Remember that the true journey is as important as the destination and every step taken with sincerity will lead to profound growth and fulfillment. Thank you so much Ananji for sharing your incredible journey and wisdom with us. It has been a privilege to hear your insights and experiences. Thank you. It has been a pleasure speaking with you. May you continue to find joy and peace on your own journey. Jai Gurudev.